Shopify has just launched a couple of new features uh, which will let merchants enable Facebook and Google login for their customers. They have a step-by-step -step documentation in the changelog which is very thorough and you can follow it uh, quite easily. But let's uh, have a go at the process and set this uh, up for one of our demo stores. So first we'll start by setting up uh, the uh, Google and the Facebook apps which will have to be created so we can get the credentials to add in Shopify. So we'll start by connecting Google first. As I said, we'll have to create the, uh, the application. Uh, the process is quite straightforward. If you have a Google Cloud Console uh, account, you should be able to just create a new app for, uh, for that and get the credentials quite easily. So now uh, we are in our Google Cloud uh, Console account. We will create a new project. We will name it Shopify Login. In this project, we want to go to API and Services Credentials. So on this page, you will be asked to configure a consent screen. This again is very straightforward. Uh, there's a few steps you have to follow. For now, we'll just create it for internal use only, but obviously you will want to uh, do it for external use. Okay, so all screen is configured. Let's uh, get back to the credentials bit. So in here, we want to create a new credential for auth client ID. We will select web application as type. Shopify login again. And we will copy uh, the uh, URLs that uh, Shopify has provided for authorized domains and redirects. So we'll just quickly do that. So once we have added this um, domains, we'll just create the uh, the app, and we will get the client ID, which we'll have to copy and paste back here in Shopify, and the client secret. Again, paste it here in Shopify. So we'll save this and obviously turn on the sign in with Google. So we'll go back to the website now and when you go to the login page we should be able to see continue with Google. So we'll test this. And I'm now logged in with my email. Okay, so next one will be setting up Facebook login. This is a bit more complicated, but not extremely. So we can uh, easily follow the other step-by-step uh, -step, um, process. Again, we will have some uh, URLs we'll have to copy into, sh into Facebook. And then once we get the app ID and the app secret, we copy it, we paste it back in Shopify. So. In the uh, developer's pl platform for Shopify, uh, in the app section, we'll have to create a new app. And at this step, we have to select authenticate and request data from users with Facebook login. 
we will choose uh, I don't want to connect a business portfolio yet next next and then go to dashboard once this uh, step has been uh, completed the next thing we want to do is go to use cases and customize the uh, author authorization process as I mentioned, we'll have to uh, allow Shopify to um, request the data from Facebook. So click add on the email. Now go to the settings page. So in here we need to whitelist the Shopify domains. So we will copy the redirect URLs from Shopify in here. And once these two um, endpoints are uh, whitelisted, we'll save the changes. Go back to Shopify and copy the first redirect the URL. Paste it in here to check. So this is a valid uh, redirect URL. We'll just leave it there. And there's another bit here to uh, update the deauthorized callback URL. We just want to copy the uh, first one from here. Save changes again. And next step from here is going to app settings, basic. And we will want to copy the app ID and paste it in here. And the app secret click show copy and paste it in here so let's save this and turn on let's go back to the demo store and we now have Facebook as the option to log in or create account so let's give it a go you will just ask me to continue as my Facebook profile and we're in. Like I said, the process isn't uh, extremely complicated. Uh, there's the step-by-step -step guide uh, posted by Shopify, but obviously if you need help, reach out to us and uh, we'll uh, help you uh, set the, these two uh, options now.